One of the more popular questions I have seen arise from the Borderlands community and beyond is the fact people question the price of the second season pass. People ask me on a daily basis, do you think it will be worth $30? A lot of people are not happy about this fact and think it's slightly overpriced. Well today guys, after having over a week of early access, I will talk about the first half of this season pass and give you guys my honest opinion on it and if I believe it's worth that money. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So obviously this is on the basis of the designer's cut, part 1 of season pass 2 which introduces 4 new skill trees, 1 per vault hunter and a brand new game mode called arms race. So let's firstly start with the new skill trees. So Borderlands 3 is a game where you collect loot, build a beast and mess enemies up. When they add new gear, i.e. weapons into the equation, this allows us to experiment even more with said builds and that's basically what Borderlands is. But when they add a whole new skill tree into the game, this kind of changes our means of experimentation tenfold. It allows us to literally build brand new Vault Hunters. New skill trees alone in my opinion are so far the best additions to this game in terms of what Borderlands 3 is. And well if you ask me the question of would I purchase the new skill trees for $15? I'd probably say yes. I mean I have spent more on cosmetics in other games which I use for a few days then completely forget about them. So supporting Gearbox in spending $15 on a brand new skill tree which completely changes the way you play the game, I mean it isn't that bad of a price. Fourth skill trees are here to stay, you will use them a ton and they literally change the dimension of this game unlike any previous DLC has done in my opinion. Now this isn't a fourth skill tree review. But I will tell you this, for the most part they are amazing and they really change the dynamics we are used to which is a great thing. So in my opinion alone, the first half of the season pass which costs $15 is worth it alone for just these new skill trees. But what about arms race? Well I've already made a standalone review on this new game mode and well if you've watched that you already know my opinion on it. If you haven't, well this will mostly be just repeated dialogue from that review but this is what I think about it. So arms race is basically a BR mode without the need to kill other players. You are thrown into arms race stripped of all your gear. You have nothing and the aim is to loot, find gear, loot, extract, loot and fight a boss. The mode isn't anywhere near as simple as that though as you literally have to scavenge. If you find a new legendary you have to get to one of the few extraction points on the map to keep said legendary, die beforehand and that loot is lost. The mold really has it all from hidden loot caches, supply drops, a crazy storm or in this case the murder cane which means you have to plan your route and much more. So what do I think about this mold? Well this mold is as far away from borderlands as it's possible to take without adding pvp and well I think that's a great thing. The mold is a great addition. Now upon me learning about this new mod before me getting my hands on time with it, my major worry was is this just going to be a bigger, larger scaled slaughter shaft. Well I can tell you guys this is nothing like the slaughter shaft at all. The fact all your gear is taken away means like Gearbox initially said, weapons truly matter and they do. And while this mod kinda for me sparked that feeling of first playing Borderlands over a year ago when I first jumped in, levelling up the ranks, finding loot, actually thinking about said loot and how it helps you progress. As Borderlands for many people for a long while now has been a game in which you know you have the backing of a said build or weapons to help you progress no matter what they add in terms of DLCs and story and raids and bosses and so much more. This completely takes that away, you have no backing, so it feels like a fresh game every single time. And although many people play this game to create and test builds, this eliminates that and in my honest opinion, the boredom that brought too many. This adds in actual fun and I haven't had that with Borderlands in a while, I won't lie to you guys. 
and this comes on the basis of me and many of you guys having builds which literally just destroy all. Having DLC thrown at us which no matter how hard they try and make things, they end up being a walk in the park and end up being boring pretty easily. You never really get that with this game mode, I mean I've played it a ton, I mean I haven't played Borderlands this much since I probably DLC 3, that's how good of a mode this is. So with Arms Race being something very very new to the franchise, I do think Gearbox have done good here. I actually love this new mode. So guys in my opinion is the new season pass worth buying based on part 1? I'd say yes if part 2 is anything like part 1. If part 1 is anything to go by and you're a Borderlands fan it's a must get. Is the designers cut worth the money? I'd say 100% yes for the skill trees alone. I can see arms race going both ways, some people loving it, some people not so. It is just one of those things. But for the skill trees alone, $15 is what most people would spend on a Fortnite skin. And to get a whole new fourth skill tree for that, which completely changes the way you can build and play this game, it's a no brainer in my opinion. I just hope the director's cut lives up to the first, as the actual changes this brings to the way we play the game is way more than I expected and way more than the experiences we got from the DLCs in the past which we just in turn walk through. But yes guys, that's my opinion on the designer's cut. How long it'll keep Borderlands going for, I'm not too sure, but as of right now, it's a fun place to be. And on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and wanna see more BR3, be sure to subscribe. And if you never wanna miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.